All right, in today's video, we're going to take a look at a couple things. First, we're going to create a preview function that will enable you to not only pull your information from GitHub with your HTML template, but substitute in the variables that you need to fill in for your template. Um, now, to save us some time in this video, uh, I do have some standard fields here created. These are standard items with you know just a text field with a subtype of email, just to validate the email address. Um, I do have one hidden item, which is a return action we'll use later to, you know, as our code executes to, to fill it in with the response code. Uh, and we have three standard buttons here. Um, we'll, uh, we'll wire both, um, I'll show you the wiring of the preview and the send email. The clear button down here is, is simply going to go in and, and clear these variables out uh, when pressed. So to get started, uh, the first thing we're going to do is create a new region. So this particular region will uh, it'll say preview or email. Uh, we're going to make this region just like we saw uh, in another video where we, where we pull the core template from GitHub. Um, so let me go out here uh, and I'll put the link in so you guys can see the walkthrough of this code. Uh, what's new in this particular case is we're not only going to pull the information from GitHub, uh, but we are going to substitute in um, our fields for the to reply to email subject. And down in the bottom, uh, we're going to substitute in uh, both our, our descriptions that are their custom um, from our form. So if I go uh, back to this page, go ahead and paste in this code, validate, and we'll hit OK. We'll save. And now we'll run this page. Uh, so to start with, it'll pull it in. You can see our, our sample. Uh, over here, and then let's go ahead and uh, fill in these fields. All right, well, we filled in these fields here with some dummy data. We're going to go ahead and click preview, uh, and we can see that the page will refresh and simply uh, insert the information. Uh, the preview button for us is just a simple um, page submit. Um, there are no other items you have to do on that particular button. Okay, but now we're going to get a little bit more advanced. We're going to look at our send email button uh, and we're going to show you how to write code to both send it and uh, attach the resume to the email. So to get started, we're going to need to create a dynamic action over here on the button itself. Um, and then our first, uh, in case of true, uh, our first uh, action that we're going to do is to execute some server side code and we want this to, to be PL SQL. So I will link to this code in, in GitHub for you, but let me go ahead and grab it. Now, most of this code is very similar. Um, what you'll see here, though, is we do have a declaration of our, our of two clobs. The one will just be a text clob to just say, hey, you know, please enable HTML to view this content. Um, the second uh, will be our get location from our prior code. Uh, we also have a custom exception in here in case this call fails. So uh, what we've done here is we go out and get the code, uh, as you see right here. We're going to check to make sure that the code isn't null or, or you know, didn't didn't retrieve very much many of the characters. Uh, and if that is the case, uh, we'll actually raise the custom exception. Otherwise, uh, we'll do some quick checks to make sure the candidate title and the candidate overview uh, is not null. Uh, we'll replace the information uh, in inside the club, um, just like we, we we did in the prior uh, example, and then. We get to the heart of this code. So right here you see the apex.mail send API. Um, in this particular case, um, our user that it's sending from has been set up um, uh, on OCI inside of OCI notifications. Um, and uh, we will put a link in the description for how you do that. That is a prereq to being able to do this demo. Um, but from there, everything else is, is really a dynamic variable uh, that we're really pulling in from the club or, or from the form itself. Um, I didn't include the CCC or BCC uh, in this particular example, but you could obviously do so. Um, next, we're going to go down and we're going to look to see if the PA candidate resume is null. Uh, so the PA candidate resume is this drop down. It's simply um, looking over at, at a table uh, that we have a uh, where we're storing our resumes as a, a binary large object in the database. Um, and if if it exists, if they do select to attach a resume. Uh, we're going to go out there, query the database, uh, and then use the Apex Mail attach, uh, add attachment API to ensure that the resume is attached uh, to the email itself. Then we'll push uh, these actions to the queue to be sent. And um, if we get this far, we're going to set our return action over here to successful. 
Other, otherwise, uh, our return action is actually set to uh, our, our SQL error. So let's validate this, make sure it works. Go ahead and hit OK. Uh, the one thing that you want to make sure you do is we're going to set our return item. So we want to send back um, the return action. So I'm going to hit Save real quick. Uh, next, I'm going to add in a second action, which is just to um, really to, to, to show our response. So in this particular case, we're going to execute some JavaScript code. Um, in this particular code, it's only going to be two lines. So we're going to um, log to the console just so as we test, it's a little bit easier, uh, whatever the return action is. And then uh, success or fail, we're going to display the return action to the user after he or she submits. So let me go ahead and hit save. All right, now we're ready to test. So I can go back here to our email. I'm just going to refresh the page. All right, I'll hit preview one more time. Oh, it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and hit send. We can see the email was successfully sent. Uh, and then in a second, we'll go to our email inbox and view it. All right, here's the email that we received. Uh, we can see that all the data went through down here at the bottom. You can see the PDF uh, attached as a blob from the database. We can go in and view it. Um, well, if this is of interest to you, how, how we set this up on the back end, I do have a number of other videos in the playlist uh, about storing and managing blob content um, that are kind of prereqs set up before this that you're welcome to watch. Thanks so much for viewing.